Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 18th of 2021, well, it is titled Rubens Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and many spiral galaxies. And in fact, most of them are very comparable in size to our Milky Way, maybe half the size or twice the size. This one is an incredibly big galaxy. Now, it may not look large compared to other galaxies because there's no sense of scale here. We're not looking at it compared to those. However, when we measure it, this one is about 800,000 light years across. To compare, our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across. So this is about eight times the size of our own galaxy. Now that's incredibly giant for a star, uh, for a galaxy that is like our Milky Way, a spiral galaxy. There are very large elliptical galaxies, but this is incredibly large for a spiral galaxy. And it has about a trillion stars. So very big. And it is one of those that was studied by Vera Rubin when we she looked at the rotation of spiral galaxies. And this was very important, the rotation of the spiral galaxies. When we look at how they rotate, we find that they are spinning far too rapidly for the amount of mass that we see. They would be tearing themselves apart if they were if there were if there is not more mass. So this led to the uh, to the discovery of what we call dark matter. And dark matter is material that is invisible to us. And that means it's not giving off any kind of light, not just visible light, but it doesn't give off x rays or gamma rays or radio waves or any other kind of radiation that can be detected. We only see it through its gravitational interaction. So we can infer that it has to be there. And we can measure how much is needed to keep the galaxy from ripping apart as it rotates so rapidly. So we've done that by studies of spiral galaxies. This is one of them. But every spiral galaxy that we look at essentially does this same thing. It rotates far too fast for what we would expect. And normally you expect that the stars eventually once you get outside most of the mass, the velocities would decrease as you get further and further away from the center. And we don't find that we find those outermost stars that we can see here are still rotating very quickly, showing that there has to be a large amount of matter. Now how much? Well, it could be five to 10 times the amount of material that we see. So for every star and every star cluster and every dark cloud that we see in this galaxy, there have to be five to 10 times that amount of matter scattered around this in a great dark matter halo in order to explain the motions that we see for this galaxy. Now do note when you look at this galaxy, you do see a lot of bright stars, including one right in the middle of this galaxy. And those with the great spikes diffraction spikes going through them are actually stars within our own galaxy that happen to be in the same direction in the sky as Rubens galaxy here. So that was our picture of the day for September 18th of 2021. It was titled Rubens galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.